What defines a high quality out of school time arts program? And what does it take to engage urban low income youth in these programs when there are so many other options? The Wallace Foundation set out to answer both questions. They explore the issues in depth with experts, including urban youth and their families, researchers, academics, and the staff of some of the nation's best arts programs. This video contains excerpts of our discussion with Dr. Gil Nome. The arts aren't just one more thing to do, but it's an essential part, I think, of what kids need. Because I think the arts, more than a lot of other things, allow the kids to be creative, to kind of express themselves, to bring out parts of their identity, but it is also very skills-based. So you bring together both the adolescent kind of exploration and you put together a kind of agenda of skills. Because in order to be an artist, the way we're thinking about art, it's not just doing something and being creative, it's also learning kind of the skills of the trade if it's a good arts program. I think when it comes to arts uh, programming, I think we have a chance to clarify what youth development programming is. The way I think about uh, arts programming is that we place it really strongly in youth development principles. Because you can have a lot of arts without youth development. But if you're talking about arts in out-of-school time programs, I think the chance we have is to understand kids differently, to build on their assets and strengths, to make them the agents of learning, not the recipients of instruction, to allow them to experiment without being judged. These are all youth development ideals and principles. We're thinking they're coming to school because they want to primarily learn and primarily kind of move ahead and primarily think about college. I mean, that there is that too, but it is important to recognize, acknowledge, and kind of support even the fact that kids are social beings and that a lot of kind of the juices are flowing around being with other kids. If you want belonging, you need rituals. A lot of these programs that have really strong a strong set of, of uh, outcomes. They have rituals, they have a language of who they are, they have an identity as a, as a program, they have a purpose as a program, then they have very good instruction, support instruction. And I think that often gets minimized in, especially in the arts, but in also other parts, homework helps and so on, that it really has to be professionalized. We have to strengthen that field. Do the people take the arts seriously? In other words, are we getting beyond the arts and crafts tradition of many of these programs, which is primarily kind of elementary school art? Not even then very good for the elementary school age, but there you can, with elementary school kids, I mean, especially the younger ones, you can always build on their creativity. So skill is a secondary issue because they're so expressive and they do so amazing, such amazing things without skills. But then once you get into really school age and later school age, the art often becomes very obsessional. You know, the, the, the house and the tree and, <laughs> and the sun. And like, you know, for all the kids, it looks a little bit similar, you know. And so there you really need to give them the skills in order to move beyond and to become more creative. You need to find the artists in the community and you need them to work together, I believe, in order to really create the infrastructure and the environment for the kids to really have a genuine art experience. Is that what we're trying to do? Are you trying to help build a system that reaches these millions of kids that have three hours a day, so 15 hours a week potentially, plus six weeks in the summer to do really meaningful additional work 
They can learn new things. They can work on new skills. If that's the goal, which I think it is, doesn't mean that we have to reach all of those millions of kids, but many of them. If that's the goal, then we have to become a little more scripted. If you want the YMCA or the Boys and Girls Club across America to have strong arts programming, it will be essential to provide kits, to provide materials, to provide ideas that people can choose from, and to really train people in what we believe quality is, whether it's in the arts or sports or, or science. I think you need some people who really have some specialized knowledge in order for this to work. For more in-depth discussion of the research findings, we invite you to read the full report and to watch the project videos.